Someone asked me the other day if I thought print-on-demand t-shirts were oversaturated. Of course, I said no, and in this video, I'm going to prove exactly why. Let's see how this Etsy seller built up a $400,000 a year store in just a short period of time. Hi, I'm Jess. I've built multiple six and seven figure Etsy stores in various niches, getting sales like these and learning the ins and outs of Etsy, Amazon, and more. A wild and crazy event led me to start a totally new life traveling abroad, giving me the unique opportunity to step back, work a lot less, and start sharing all of my Etsy insights with you. So hit that subscribe button, grab a pen of paper, and let's jump in. Hey everybody, thank you for joining me for another awesome video. This is a print-on-demand t-shirt store. They have about 650 listings almost, but it is the designs on these t-shirts that really set the store apart. Considering that what ultimately makes or breaks the success of a print-on-demand store, especially a shirt store because it is a very, very saturated niche, having good designs is crucial, crucial, crucial to succeeding in this niche. So this store has done a wonderful job of capturing a very specific type of buyer and they create designs specifically to that aesthetic. So as we scroll down here, you can see that most of their designs really cater to the cottage core vibe as my teens would call it. There's a lot of flowers, there's a lot of butterflies, there's um, a lot of peace, love, and light kind of vibes with these designs. My old lady self would call this farmhouse style, I guess. Um, but apparently the new word for this is cottage core. So I'm going to be trendy and say these are cottage core designs. I love these designs. But this brought up a great, great tip for you guys. Before I jump into the tips, however, let's go ahead and get their Etsy store stats out of the way. So... This store has 63,460 sales. Pretty good number of sales. Their average product price is right in the expected price range for print-on-demand t-shirts. It is not $14. It is actually $22. Bucks. Pretty on point with competitive pricing. And looking at their first feedback here. If we scroll down and go to the last page here, we can see that their first feedback, even though they really, really focused on those socks and um, personalized faces on things at first, which is funny, I'm not going to lie, but not what's driving their sales today. Their first feedback is July 31st, 2019. So they are approaching their four-year anniversary as an Etsy seller. Given the amount of sales at a $22 price point for the four years just about that they have been open, that puts their approximate annual sales at $372,000 a year. That's assuming that their customers all only bought one shirt at that $22 price point. So we know their actual sales are probably way higher, but if you've watched my videos more than once or twice, you know I'm always saying I like to be conservative. Now that we know that this store is rolling in the dough, let's look at their bestseller listing. So like I said before, they showcase a $14 price point. They do have a sale. And I think it's been a long time since I've mentioned how important these sales are as Etsy sellers. So I'm going to jump real back as I segue myself and show you that they have 42% sale on all of their listings just about. So they have 646 listings, 615 of them are on sale. So almost all of them. And the reason that is important is because when you are searching in Etsy, if we go to Etsy search page here, you can actually filter for free shipping and you can filter for on sale. Now that means if you don't offer one of these two options, you are not going to appear when someone clicks that button. And that can really impact your visibility a lot, 
a lot of a lot of a lot. So having sales on your products is very, very important. Now, you don't have to have the same exact sale all the time. You can change it up. You can have a week of every month where you don't even put your products on sale. You can do this however you want to do it. So keep in in mind that sales are a powerful, powerful driver for conversions. Make a plan to set some sales at least a couple times a month so that you can see if it boosts your sales and if it really benefits you. Okay, I didn't plan on talking about that, but I didn't want to forget since it caught my attention. Let's take a look at their images. So this is a really beautiful shirt. I would actually buy this shirt. This is super cute. Their first image shows it on an actual person. It's very trendy. You can see some botanical gardeny stuff behind them. The background actually matches the vibe or the aesthetic of the shirt. And that's going to come in really handy in just a minute when I talk about that tip I mentioned a second ago. This is the second image they have, and it is a flat lay. So this is really cool because it shows a different way of looking at the actual product. And then we have a couple more versions of it being on people. All very well done. Another flat lay. Another person. And notice that all of these are showing different colors of the shirt, right? So we really can get a good variety of what this design looks like on the different colors they offer. Now we can see their size chart and they have created a size chart that really does match their aesthetic. And it says what type of shirt it is being made with, which is also handy information to know because a lot of women who shop for shirts on Etsy will specifically look for Bella Canvas shirts. So that's super helpful. That's because Bella Canvas is softer. It's a better brand of shirt. And even though it's a little bit more pricey, if you find the right vendor, it really is worth the extra dollar or two in costs on your end because the overall sales are way, way higher. Anyhow, the next image is all of their shirt colors, and it goes right back to the top. All of their images are absolutely amazing. And if you have not gotten my freebie yet with all the different print-on-demand mock-up sites, definitely go grab that. My resource link is down below so that you can get access to epic images and even videos to make your print-on-demand products really pop and snag attention from right from the search pages like these awesome images do. You really want to set your images apart and your items apart from everyone else on Etsy. And I think a lot of sellers use Placeit, but I have a lot of really great alternative options on that list. So check it out. And while we are looking at the images, I'm going to jump back to that tip I keep mentioning. All of the designs in this store target a specific cottage core vibe, right? Like I mentioned before, lots of flowers, lots of mushrooms, lots of gardeny, boho, chic kind of stuff. And that really does help boost their their store sales because offering designs that target a specific type of person will boost your sales significantly. And I know that might seem counterintuitive because the search volume is smaller than something with a more generalized design. But stats have shown that when you do target a specific type of buyer, the conversion rates are way higher because your product is targeted. It connects stronger. It hits closer to home and it matches their style or their preferences much more closely. So people are going to resonate with that design more strongly and your sales conversions go up. So I did want to make sure to point that out before we dig into their SEO. All right, SEO time. I am going to pull their title into my workbook here. And I do also sell this. It's at my references link down below as well. It's pretty affordable. It costs like cheaper than a Starbucks run. And it has a lot of great and helpful tools to grow your store. But for the sake of this video, we are going to use my test title evaluator. So it will tell me that they are using 139 characters out of the 140 that we get for our title. So literally 
every character but one. So they have really put time and energy into creating this title to maximize their space. And if we look at the words they're using, we can see botanical, vintage, flower. Those are the three words they're targeting repeatedly. So they have botanical here, here, and here. And then there's flower t-shirt, flower shirt, and wildflower. And then they have vintage three times as well. Vintage, vintage, vintage. And then, of course, we have a variety of the different, all of the different ways to say shirt. So they have shirt by itself, t-shirt with the hyphen, t-shirt with a space, t, t-shirt without the hyphen, just t, s-h-r, that's a mouthful. I'm not even going to spell that. And then they actually have botanical print. I'm not sure if print is a high volume search term or not. I might have said botanical tea, but they have nailed it with this variety here. They have decided which keywords are the most important to repeat. And then they have utilized their space to get as much variety in the words shirt and tea and t-shirt as possible. So that is super, super smart, and they did a really fantastic job on that. Looking at their description, we can see that they just rolled with the straight copy and paste strategy. So they just took their title and copy and pasted it right down here. And this is probably either a previous version of their title. Nope, it's exactly the same. So sometimes we'll see a slightly reworded title copied down here, but this is literally word for word the exact same. And I can't get them. Let me see here if I can get them on the same screen here. I hope you all have some glasses because this is now tiny. You can see they are word for word copy and pasted. So it is not necessarily SEO optimized in terms of an appeal statement, but they have immediately followed this copy and paste with an appeal statement that isn't targeting specific keywords. It's targeting the emotion of buying this shirt. So it says they are high quality, they are super soft, and they are super comfy. And that goes back to the fact that these are Bella Canvas brand t-shirts. Bella Canvas is a very high demand product in terms of women who want to buy graphic tees. Bella Canvas is just superior. So they are really focusing on that and they're highlighting the fact that it's super soft and super comfy. So even though they didn't have a sentence that works these keywords into their appeal statement, this is actually a common strategy that we are starting to see more and more and more. Now I'm currently running a test. I think I mentioned a few videos ago. I'm running a test, or I did mention it in my newsletter, in fact, so if you don't have that, make sure you're checking your inbox. If you have signed up for any of my freebies with a real email address, I send a newsletter full of tips out every other week, so check that. I'm running a test at the moment to see which one of these strategies is more effective in terms of sales. It's been a couple of weeks, which can be early. It can take up to a month to really see results on Etsy in terms of SEO changes, but I have two of the same listings. One has a copy and pasted title like this, and one has an SEO optimized appeal statement. So far, I have not seen any sales increase in one strategy over the other. So right now, my personal study shows that it really does boil down to personal preferences. And of course, your ability to balance a great appeal statement with the right keywords, which, by the way, if salesy sentences are not your thing, ChatGTP really excels with this. And I do have a short video about how to use ChatGTP for your appeal statement. So I'll put that card at the top here. But so far, I think it really just boils down to a personal preference. And comment below, by the way, and let me know which one you prefer. Do you notice any sales correlations between one strategy or another? Let's take a look at their tags. So one thing that I noticed about their tags is that they have tried to find a balance between very, very broad tags and relatively specific tags. So we see 
that they are really going for all the varieties of shirt and t-shirt here, which is honestly a waste of tags. And let me tell you why. Etsy themselves has stated in their documentation, and I'll try to find a screenshot of that for this video when I edit. Etsy has straight up said that they include small things like this, small typos. So if you write shirt versus t-shirt, they're going to show you results for both. Now, if you write T, that's obviously not necessarily going to show you results that say shirt. So you do want to include both of those different types of wordings in here. But in terms of your tags, having t-shirt, t-shirts, t-space shirt, and just shirt is an absolute blatant waste of your tags because they all have shirt. So really, you just need one of these and all the rest of these are covered. Now they do get a little bit more specific with women's t-shirts. Graphic tees for women, that's a great one. That's much more specific. Botanical shirt, that is even more specific. That's fantastic. They have flower shirt and t-shirt for women. Well, t-shirt women. So if you're looking for a woman's t-shirt, let's scroll down and see what pops up here. They have leaves t-shirt print. So much more specific. They have woman's vegan shirt, so even more specific. And then there's shorter things like floral, save our planet, wildflower, garden shirt, bee lover, plant these, save the bees. And keep in mind that these are not all necessarily the tags that se the seller specifically chose for their listing, but that these also include searches that are commonly being typed in by Etsy buyers and leading to clicks on this product. So that does give us a little bit of a leg up with our SEO research. So not to totally plug my freebies here, but I do also have a great SEO cheat sheet in my free resources. So basically, if you have not gone and snagged all of my freebies, you are missing out on a lot of great stuff. And I do have an option to get them all in one click on that page. So make sure you take advantage of that. But if you're considering starting or expanding your print on demand shirt store, I do have the perfect must watch video with the very biggest thing you should avoid when starting a shirt shop or any Etsy shop really. So you should check that out next.